Hey, my Liptons. So, oh God, I'm here to do a late night video. I was literally, I was literally about to. And honestly, I was gonna wait till tomorrow to do this video. But honestly, I'm just like, you know, let me just get it out the way. That's so that tomorrow I have a free day with no stress, like just chilling, whatever. Um, the reason why I sound over is because like these two. It, and it's not just DVD, it's it's her too. It's like, the way that y'all like to think that Halle Bailey is so innocent now, it's just like, it's ridiculous. But I'm literally like editing uh, my YouTube video that I just put up, by the way. Y'all guys can go look up that video that I just put up on my channel. I'm editing my video, I'm putting up the shorts on my YouTube channel. Um, and then, you know, I'm on the phone with a friend and then I go on Twitter at the same time. So I'm doing all this. I'm multitasking here. But the next thing you know, uh DDG puts out a statement. It's all over my timeline. Um I don't follow him. It's just that, you know, Pop Base, I follow Pop Base on Twitter. So, you know, they put the statement up. I guess he put the statement. he he just decided out randomly. Nobody at all. Nobody asked him. Nobody was like, hey, what's going on between you and Holly? Like, it's just, it's not been top of mind for anybody. So, he put up this statement <sighs> announcing that he and Holly have broken up. Okay? So, it says here, dear friends and supporters, after much reflection, heart felt, you know what, F it. You guys just read the statement, read this bullshit ass statement. You know, it's, it's up on his, uh, it's up on his uh, Instagram, whatever. Y'all can put this bullshit. Y'all can read it. So immediately when I saw this, I just, I was going in. Like I, I wrote the rolling face thing. I also wrote, you know, people, you know, I did that. Y'all guys can also go on my YouTube channel where I did videos about a year or two ago. Where it was alleged that DDG and Holly will break up. Uh, this is last year. I also, you know, shared this one about um, allegedly that the uh, Disney pulled Halle Bailey's um, Oscar consideration due to her alleged pregnancy, which is now a real pregnancy that she had with her son. So I shared those videos, and immediately, but by the way. Y'all need to subscribe to the channel. Okay, we're almost at, you know, we're almost at uh, 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. To me, I just felt like... Immediately, I thought, like, just PR stunt. Publicity stunt. Um, trolling. Immediately. It wasn't even a situation where I was just like, oh my god, I feel... No. I immediately thought PR stunt, publicity stunt. On both ends, not just with DDG, because I know everybody on Twitter right now is going off on DDG and saying like, oh yes, Hallie's now free and blah, 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 blah. I don't know free of what, because she has a child with the man. I don't know what exactly she's free of, but whatever. Um, I just think that it's a publicity stunt. That's just my number one thought at this moment, and it still is. Um, I think that, you know, can we, can we be honest? Can we be honest? Before this was released, and I discussed Hallie, I think, what, last week or something, where she put up that tweet about, you know, pe you know going off on her, I don't know, people or her fans for talking about her child or, or about her career or whatever, and she was going off, and, you know, people were kind of dragging her for that, and they just feel like, you know, Hallie Bailey start, you know, I, I won't say like more and more people are starting to kind of see like Cali Billy just come off a little bit attention seeking because it's like you claim like you know people are talking about your kid but yet you continuously put your kid out there you know you continually talk about how people are talking about your kid but yet you're allowing your baby father to put his kid your kid both for your kid on YouTube on Snapchat all over the social media platforms and you made him and you were comfortable about him becoming a meme but now all of a sudden you're mad that people have something to say about your kid like it's just like so people were truly getting annoyed with Halle Bailey and I think that you know that's why she deleted that tweet um 
and you know, I think that both of them saw this and I guess needed to do some damage control. I think that DDG from, and I'm just coming, I'm just looking at this from a PR perspective. I think DDG is comfortable being the villain or being villainized or being the quote unquote bad boy boyfriend and Hallie taking the place of the quote unquote image of like the good girl, you know, church girl, like, oh my God, like, you know, I was raised by a two parent household, beautiful family, um, nuclear family, like it's just da da da, but I fell for a bad boy. That is their image and that is the image that they have accepted and they feel like that is an image that makes them sell and what brings viewers to, you know, their channel, you know, brings money into their pocket into their pockets. I think that when the both of them started to notice that like people are starting to kind of get over Halle Bailey and this whole like you know just attention seeking thing that she has going on and they kind of feel like her and DDG are both the same people. I think that they're doing damage control now. So that's why I feel like there's a PR stunt. So I feel like DDG and Hallie came to an agreement. Like, hey, let's put this statement out. We'll let you... First of all, it's very weird that he's, he's the only one that put that statement out. So this is, this is what goes into the bad boy image. He's going to put that statement out. And then on top of that, he not, he put the statement out on the same day that it that it is Halle Bailey's younger brother's birthday on top of that I like I had no clue about that until they were saying it on Twitter and I actually went to go look and it turns out it is actually Halle Bailey's younger brother's birthday because she you know was posting it on her stories so another way to kind of add on to that I think both of them agreed hey let's put this out there you know you write a statement stating that you know we're breaking up or that we're broke up and let you take the heat and let people, you know, feel bad for me and say like, oh my God, like, you know, you trapped me with the baby, even though I willingly slept with you, you know, let, let people think that, you know, you took advantage of me and all these different things. So that's, and, you know, let it, let it ride for a while and then, you know, let's stay on the low. And then after a couple, maybe after a couple of months, maybe, you know, going into next year, we can come out again saying that, you know what, we reconciled, we want to be a family again. But personally for me, that's just what I think it is. I think all of this is a PR stunt. Um, n now that I think about it, now going back to like, um, back from last year when I did this video um, about the breaking news about Halle Bailey and DDG breaking up. And I even stated here, I was like, you know, is this breakup real? Now that I think about it, I actually think it was the both of them that put that out there to blogs to make people you know, gain sympathy for Halle Bailey because at the time too, people were kind of, you know, shipping, like, you know, there were, you know, people were kind of like, oh my God, like Halle looks so good with Jonah, her co-star for the, from the Little Mermaid. So they wanted to put that out there to gain publicity for the movie, The Little Mermaid, even though it didn't need that kind of publicity because Disney was already doing a lot of the work. But I guess maybe Halle and DDG felt the need to do that. So now when I look back, I think that's what this was. Um, so I think that this was definitely their plan. And I think that this is the same case in this situation. I think that, you know, she is doing this, her, her, him and her are both doing this to gain sympathy points for Halle Bailey. Okay. Sympathy and payola in my Nicki Minaj, um, voice. Um, so yeah. And it, also for the fact that you announced this on, the, that's why I also think it's PR because I'm like, you announced this on your, on the birthday of your younger brother, like DJ, you announced this on her her younger brother's birthday. Like, if if you cared about her and if you felt that you know you have love and affection, you couldn't wait the next day or the day after. I just think it's fake. I think it's all fake. I think both of these two are fake. I think well, DJ has shown his ass many times. I think that um you know he is a troll. He's a YouTube troll. He does things to get views. You have people. You know he needs to have his name out there, and I think that Halle Bailey. Listen, I, a lot of y'all not gonna like what I the comments I'm saying about Halle Bailey, but like, yes, is she talented? Can she sing? Can she, is she extremely beautiful? Yes, but y'all, come on, show me who your friends are. Show me who you're dating. Show me who your husband is. 
and I'll show you who you are. If DDG is such as this person and things like that, why is Halle Bailey with him? Why did Halle Bailey have a baby with him? At the end of the day, wh exactly when are we going to place any responsibility on the women when they make stupid decisions like this? You know, we love to blame the men. And don't get me wrong, I, I drag the men all the time. But at what point, you know, the red flags were there? When are we ever going to be placed with, like, when? When? It's just like, okay, well, yes, I, I you know, I know I'd be, I'd be joking around, talk about, you know, I support women's rights and women's wrongs as well. I get it. Like, you know, it's all for kiki kaka. But it's like, girl, like, when you're making life-changing decisions as in having a baby with a guy that you're not even sure if you're going to be with for the rest of your life and there's no commitment, there's no ring, there's no marriage, there's no nothing, it's like, what are you doing? I just feel like she's just the same as him. I think that, you know, they both like the attention. I think the music is not selling. Um, I did not see that last song, but Because I Love You was on the charts. Um, even though I, I genuinely like the song, Halle Bailey's music career has just not been... And the thing is, the crazy thing is, I actually like Halle Bailey's music a little more than I like the sister's music. But the music has not been selling. And I think that both of them and you know they have this deal with snapchat too because snapchat is giving all these youtubers a bag so you know they're trying to drive up the views so they're doing anything means necessary for the views and for the clicks and you know because all of that brings money to their pockets and i think Callie bailey's in on it i'm sorry i just think that she is and then you know even that statement oh my god my child my child my child it's like okay if you feel that way then stop putting your child on social media Either way, um, yeah, I just think that they're trying to, you know, kind of somewhat salvage Halle Bailey's image and, you know, because they notice that they're, you know, people are starting to kind of getting off like the Halle Bailey train and feeling like she's such like this victim and like, you know, she's not like her, her boyfriend, even though they're both the same. So this was what some people were saying on Twitter. You know, you have this person saying... <laughs> Um, break up prank on our fans and son halo started crying <laughs> you know um this person also said and y'all shouldn't be shocked if this happens but this person said if this is a prank i really hope hallie takes a second to consider how fucking lame this is don't like i said y'all need to be prepared for that y'all need to be prepared for that y'all are hilarious also i noticed some of y'all are trying to make a joan like y'all trying to Listen, Jonah, where is he at? Sorry, y'all. Let me bring him up here. Jonah does not want no parts. How can we be? Holly Bailey is too messy right now. She's using anything and everything to push her internet lifestyle. You know, and then y'all saying, oh, Jonah can be the stepfather. He. <laughs> And that's the thing, too. Y'all is trying to make, like, a Sierra, Halle Bailey correlation. And it's just, like, that... First of all, the fact that y'all are even comparing Sierra to Halle is crazy. Second of all, Sierra... Sierra was more career-focused, driven. Like, the situation with Future, like, well, yes... You know, she, you know, future, what future did to her was sad and fucked up. She learned from those mistakes and she actually moved on from that. Okay, she actually moved on. She was serious about moving on, serious about going with Russell Wilson, marrying him and so forth. I don't see Halle Bailey moving on from DDG right now. I just don't see. I think for, for the sake of Halle Bailey's fans, let me give her the benefit of the doubt real quick. Let me play devil's advocate. Let's just say that, yes, this breakup is real. They are broken up. Um, you know, she's probably is tired of having her child being monetized and, and put out there on social media. She's probably tired of that and, and wants to keep some form of her, her privacy. Even if that is the case and this breakup is quote unquote true, I still feel like 
Halle Bailey is just not going to leave or give up on DDG right now. This is the father of it. Like, while I understand many women have moved on after having children, you know, Sierra being one of them, I just, I think the, the thing is to, the reason why I feel like it's, it was easier for Sierra compared to Halle Bailey moving on, Sierra has dated, like, not to say Halle Bailey, but like, Sierra's been in the industry longer. Before she had her baby, you know, she's dated other people before she got to future. So it's like, it's, it's not a problem for her to move on. Halle Bailey doesn't give me those vibes. Halle Bailey doesn't give me the vibe that is like, if I'm going to be honest with you, and this might sound weird, but Halle Bailey gives me the type that she kind of, I don't know, like lost her V card to DDG. That's the vibe she gives me. So I feel like, you know, that was her first, you know, you know giving me puppy love teas like i think that's ddg is what she likes and i think that with sierra it's like you know she's dated before you know so moving on from future even after having a, a child wasn't difficult for Halle bailey i just don't see her moving on in that way and then if, if she's gonna do, she's gonna have to be serious about it and it's like that's all about oh well jonah jonah needs to come up here and be the stepfather <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Jonah wants any parts of this. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, you know, first of all, if Hallie really wanted to do something, she would have told DDG to not make a burner account to be trolling Jonah during the, the, um, the press tour of Little Mermaid. Okay. If Hallie really wanted to do something of substance, cause I was exposed and I, and I, I discussed that on my channel. Okay. Y'all can, y'all can go to, um, my past videos on the pop culture talk playlist where I discussed how DDG made a whole burner account, a troll account to troll her co-star while they were promoting, while Halle Bailey and Jonah were promoting the little mermaid. So it's just like, you couldn't even defend your co-star when, when your boyfriend was out here trolling. Like, do you really think Jonah, Jonah King wants any parts of this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I just feel like, you know, we're making our jokes right now, but please, let's also be serious. Let's live in reality right now. Like this, this is not, this is not going to be a thing. This is not going to be a thing. So I just think, you know, just to close this out, listen, I know y'all trying to, you know, I know the Halle Bailey fans are probably going to be mad at me. Saying some of the things that I said in this video, but listen, I to myself used to be a Halle Bailey fan. I was here for her, I was supporting her. Y'all guys can go to my older videos where I said that she was extremely talented. You know, I thought that she, I saw bigger things for Halle Bailey after The Little Mermaid. I thought to myself, like, you know, this could be a stepping stone for her to get other great roles in Hollywood where she can be. Some one of the top actresses, you know, get her ox, ox, like, but unfortunately she went backwards. She took one step forward with the little mermaid and took two step backwards when, and listen, children are blessings. I get it. But it, that was, you know what? I'm not even going to say it because y'all going to get mad at me if I say what I have to say, but either way, what if, if this is quote unquote real, even though I don't think it is. Um, and if they, and if they continue to stay broken up, I mean, we'll, I'll, I'll have to wait and see to see what happens, but I still think even if they're, you know, they are really broken up, I still see her going back to him. Um, but if not, you know, I hope that she do get somebody, but like, I, I, I don't want it to be somebody within the music industry. I think right now the music industry is going through it. No shade. Like they're really draining the swamp in the music industry. So hopefully she get somebody outside of that, you know, I would like to see her in a nice, you know, drama free, messy free relationship where she can hopefully get someone to genuinely love her child and care for him and so forth. Then, you know, this was, this was prevent this relation, this, this was preventable. To say the least, uh, this whole thing with DDG and Hallie, I never, like, even from the beginning, I never knew what she saw in him. But, hey, you know, 
to each their own. If they like it, we love it. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, y'all out here talk about, oh my God, Hallie is free and da, 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 da. It's like, it's like, that's like the same, like, Hallie is not free. Okay. Oh, she's finally, she had a baby with the man. It's like, it goes like, it goes back to that whole like Cardi B and offset situation with the, with that, with their drama, like one, two weeks ago. It's like, girl, like she, ha, Cardi got pregnant, still got pregnant with offset after, even after she cheated, after, even after he cheated on her. And then she had to quote unquote get, get her lick back. It's like, if you, if you were going to do that, why get pregnant to begin with? It's just, and, and on top of that, shoot, the red flags were there for Cardi being upset. Been there before the dirt child even came about. So with Hallie and DDG, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I think that these two, you know, just put up, you know, do things for attention and they do things to get views and I'm not falling for it. That's why personally for me, nine, 90, if anything, 98% of me feels like this is a PR stunt to salvage Halle Bailey's image, to make people feel bad for her, for her to gain sympathy points, while DDG is being the bad guy and the villain, which he's comfortable being in that role, in that position, because it makes them, honestly, they both went out of this, if you really think about it. So I just, I, I feel bad for the child, okay? I feel bad for baby Halo, that they have, that he hasn't both well both of his parents are both attention seekers so either way y'all yeah guys so what you guys think in the comment section below please like comment and subscribe to the channel let's get up to 1000 subscribers and i'll talk to you guys later have a good night bye